Given that the S24 has just released, I think now is about time for a three-way review between Samsung's S24, Apple's iPhone 15, and Google's Pixel 8. Now, all three of these phones are excellent in their own ways, but in this video, only one of them can reign supreme. Let's start with design. When they're side by side like this, you can really tell who copied whose homework and who decided to forge ahead with their own design. In fact, there were a couple of times where I wasn't really paying much attention and I accidentally picked up the S24 thinking it was my iPhone 15. I have to admit, I do like and appreciate Google's more unique take with the camera bar across the back. Although Samsung and Apple have taken the more mature and less in your face approach that I do tend to prefer. The S24 is looking more like an iPhone than ever with these near perfectly flat side rails this year. And while it is a fair fairly good look, I still think the iPhone is the more premium looking and feeling out of these three phones. That is, until we start looking at the displays. I'm going to give the point to both the Pixel 8 for its uniqueness and the iPhone 15 for looking and feeling premium, but Samsung is about to turn things around big time. All three of these displays are roughly 1080p, with the iPhone being a slightly higher resolution, but the iPhone is also slightly smaller than the other two phones at 6.1 inches instead of 6.2. The iPhone 15 also does not have a high refresh rate display like the other two phones, making it feel slower to use in comparison. The iPhone's a a little bit outclassed in the display department compared to these two androids if i'm honest it's got a huge cutout for that dynamic island compared to the small hole punches it's got thicker bezels and it's noticeably less bright when using it outdoors the real fight here is between the s24 and the pixel 8 and while the pixel 8's display is very good placing them side by side will show you the winner fairly quickly the s24 has even slimmer bezels a smaller hole punch and the phone gets even brighter up to a maximum of 2600 nits compared to the pixels 2000. second point goes to the S24. Now all three of these displays are great for watching media on. You don't need a high refresh rate display to watch YouTube videos. But what you do need sometimes are a good set of speakers. The Pixel 8 speakers were fine, but both the S24 and the iPhone 15 sounded better to my ear. The Pixel 8 also has a strange volume curve where 50% on the slider is actually more like 30% of its actual maximum volume. When listening to the S24 and the iPhone 15 side by side, the S24 has a bit more of a harsh and tinny sound, whereas the iPhone 15 sounds a little bit more warm and pleasant which is pretty generous for a phone speaker. None of them are gonna give you a phenomenal listening experience, that's what headphones are for, but the iPhone is the clear winner here. Next up is performance, and this is a spicy one because performance is about more than just high benchmark numbers. It's about how fast a phone feels to use too. All three of these phones use completely different processors and amounts of RAM. The S24 has Qualcomm's latest Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 and up to 12 gigs of RAM. The Pixel 8 has Google's own Tensor G3 and eight gigs of RAM. And the iPhone 15 has the A16 Bionic and six gigs of RAM. I ran Geekbench 6 on all three devices and got some surprising results. In third place, place was the Pixel 8 with a score of 1672 in single core and 4352 in multi-core. That one was more or less expected. The Tensor G3 is known to be a bit less powerful than the other flagship CPUs. What I didn't expect was that the S24 and the iPhone 15 were very, very close, with the iPhone 15 having a slightly better single core score and the S24 having a slightly better multi-core score. But like I said, there's a lot more to performance than just benchmark numbers. In reality, both the Pixel 8 and the S24 feel faster than and the iPhone 15 to use. The high refresh rate displays make a big difference when it comes to animation speeds, and surprisingly, most third-party apps actually open quicker on the Pixel 8 and the S24 than they do on the iPhone 15, making the iPhone feel slower in comparison. The win goes to the S24 in this category. Before we get into the battle of the cameras, I first need to take a quick minute to thank the sponsor of this video, Opal. This is the Opal Tadpole, a webcam that's tailor-made for your laptop. With the Tadpole, there's no more dealing with clunky webcams or complicated setups. It's a tiny webcam that's actually smaller and lighter than an AirPods case, and it's the only webcam that's built just for laptop use. It uses Sony's IMX582 sensor for solid image quality, and it works with any PC or Mac laptops right out of the box. The Tadpole has a noise-canceling microphone built right into it, so people that you're talking to will have no problem hearing you no matter where you go. It's even got a touch-sensitive mute switch built right into the USB-C cable. Just tap on it and a little red LED will pop up showing you that you're muted. The Tadpole is thoughtfully designed with its high-grade aluminum, glass hinges, and some premium fabric cabling. It's one of the best looking webcams I've ever seen, and it comes in both black and white. As of right now, it's only 129 USD, and you can use code MARK to get 15% off your order. Check out the link in the video description below if you're interested. All right, camera time. All three of these phones have a fairly similar camera setup. They each have a high-resolution sensor for the main camera, 50 megapixels in both the S24 
and Pixel 8 and 48 megapixels in the iPhone 15, and they each have a 12 megapixel ultra wide. The biggest difference is that the S24 has a 10 megapixel 3X telephoto, and the other phones do not have a telephoto camera at all. For most of the photos that I took, the cameras from all three of these phones looked great. There are some differences in the way that the cameras process HDR, and the colors are a little bit different between them, but for the most part, I really like the images coming out of all three of these phones. I will say that the S24 was a little more consistent, like in this shot where the iPhone and the Pixel underexposed Cabot Tower and the S24 got it perfectly right. The S24 also has better zooming capabilities because of that telephoto camera. I took all three of these pictures by zooming or cropping into 5X, and if we crop into that lighthouse, the iPhone and the Pixel's photos kind of look like watercolor paintings, whereas a lot of the detail is actually retained in the S24's photo. The S24 can shoot video up to 8K at 30 frames per second too, whereas the other two can only do 4K 60. I did like the Pixel's front-facing camera a lot more than the other two though. It's quite a bit wider and the color is bang on. I'm surprised at how much the iPhone 15 shifted into the magenta here. I wasn't a big fan of that at all. This point is gonna go to the S24, but all three cameras are solid for the most part. Battery life is up next, and all three of these phones have very different battery capacities inside of them. Starting with the smallest battery, the iPhone 15 has a 3349 milliamp hour battery, the S24 has a 4000 milliamp hour battery, and the Pixel 8 has a 4575 milliamp hour battery. I'll let you take a guess on which one you think had the longest runtime overall. Actually, surprisingly, this one was a bit of a tie as well. Both the Pixel 8 and the S24 have excellent battery life, and sometimes I'd get a little bit more usage out of the S24, and other times I'd get more usage out of the Pixel 8. The Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 in the S24 is clearly the more efficient CPU, but that extra bit of battery capacity in the Pixel 8 makes up for it. The iPhone 15 was easily in last place here. The battery inside is just not big enough to compete with the other two phones. Points for the Androids here. After the phones died, I plugged them in to see which one would finish charging first. First. All three manufacturers advertise that the phones will reach 50% battery in 30 minutes, but which one will hit 100% the fastest? After being plugged into fast chargers that can supply up to 100 watts of power, the S24 reached 100% the fastest, followed by the Pixel 8, and then the iPhone 15 in last place. The iPhone took a really, really long time to charge despite its pretty small battery. It is worthwhile to note that the iPhone 15 has MagSafe, which is definitely a bonus, but the S24 still charges in like half the time, and therefore, it gets the point in this category. Then there's the price and the overall value associated with that price. Now, I'll have links to where you can find all three of these phones in the description down below, but there's definitely a winner here. In third place is the iPhone 15. It starts at 800 US dollars for the base model with 128 gigs of storage. The S24 also starts at that same price. However, as you've seen probably throughout most of the video, the S24 kind of has more to offer than the iPhone in this instance. So I think its value proposition is a bit better. The value king, however, is still the Pixel 8. While it's not quite as fast as the S24 and its camera system isn't quite as versatile, it starts at 700 bucks and quite frequently goes on sale for even less than that. If you're looking for the best of these three phones, the point system says that title goes to the S24, but hey, I wouldn't fault anyone for buying any of these phones. They're all actually pretty great. Hope you liked the video. Thanks for watching, and as always, have a great day.